Potter. I'm a physician assistant student. Um, I'm going to be helping you out today. How are you feeling? I'm in pain. You're in pain. Um, tell me, where is your pain located? My right testicle. On your right testicle? Uh, how long have you gone through this pain? About two hours. About two hours? What were you doing when the pain began? I was riding my bike this morning. Okay. Um, is that something that you normally do every day? Yeah, I ride every day. You ride every day? Okay. Um, can you on a scale of 1 to 10, how it's, a 10. It's, it's a 10? It's a 10. Okay, it hurts really bad. Um, have you ever had this happen to you before? No, I've never had this pain. Never? Never. Okay. Have you been around anybody else that's had similar symptoms? To no, not anybody who's had pain like this. Okay. Is there anything that you do that helps alleviate your pain? No, I've been trying to hold it up for the last two hours and it hasn't helped with pain at all. Okay. And is there anything that makes it worse? I'm just going to ask you a few other questions in order to get a better picture of what's going on with you. Um, do you have any other past medical conditions that you'd like me to know about? No. Okay. Can you tell me this? I want to talk also about your family. Are there any medical conditions that any of your re um, recent or um, current family members have that we need to know about either? I don't think so. I've always had a pain like this before. Okay. And um, let's talk a little bit about your what you do for a living. Do you work? Um, are you married? I'm married. Okay. Do you have children? I have three. You have three children. Okay. Do you smoke? No. Do you drink alcohol? Just socially. Okay. Socially. So socially that means how many drinks a week? Just one drink. One drink a week. Okay. Um, now I want to ask you a few other questions about um, other aspects of your body just to be sure that we cover all possible options that could be happening here. Um, have you experienced any nausea or vomiting? Um, what about body aches and chills? No, no body aches and chills. Have you noticed a fever? No fever. No fever, okay. Um, what about your heart? Have you felt any heart, like rapid racing heart? No, it feels like it's beating fast, but I think it's just because I'm in so much pain. Okay. Um, how about shortness of breath? No. No shortness of breath. Okay, have you noticed any change of bowel movements or, or um, urine placement? I haven't gone to the bathroom since the pain. Ethan, I'm going to step out of the room for a minute to allow you to disrobe. And then when I come back in, we'll perform your physical exam to find out what's going on, okay? Go. Okay, Tasha. Over here in room two, um, we have a patient named Ethan Meyer. He is a 18-year-old male. Um, he presents today with this right testicular pain. Um, he raised that pain at, 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 on a scale of He's in extreme pain. He says that to try to alleviate his pain, he's been holding up his scrotum for the past hour with no pain relief. Um, he also says um, movement, him moving around, makes it worse. I, um, he, he said that this happened after he went on a bike ride. And, um, and then, like I said, that was about two hours ago. Um, I did perform a physical exam on him, and I noted um, swelling in his right fist. So I'm going to an absent premasteric reflux. Uh, can you tell me more about what I'm finding here? Okay, well that sounds like testicular torsion, and that's most common in the 12 to 18 year old population, and it's also a common, it's commonly associated with bike riding. Um, what it is, is you have your testicle, and it's hanging from the blood supply called the spermatic cord, and sometimes when that gets twisted, you're cutting off the blood supply to the testicle. So how long has this been going on? You said two hours. Okay. Well, usually less than six hours, we can save it. If it's been over six hours, the testicle will have to be removed because it'll become gangrenous. Also, you pointed out the absent premasteric reflex, and there's also the Prenn sign. And you said that when he lifts his testicles, there's no relief. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. It's so. Okay. So that's, um, if, if there was relief, you could think that that, that was epididymitis, but since there was relief, or there wasn't relief, then you would think that that's te testicular torsion. And so what we're going to need to do is get a Doppler ultrasound stat, and that's going to show us whether the blood supply to the testicle is cut off or not. And then we're probably going to need to get it into surgery ASAP. If that's the case. Yes. Okay, well, I'll 
go in and explain everything to him, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, after consulting with my colleague and after also performing the Doppler on um, your testicles, we come to the conclusion that you have a testicular torsion. Is that bad? Um, that can be bad if it's if you let it go for a long period of time. In other words, more than six hours. So we really need to work fast right now to help get this thing. What we're going to do is we're going to refer you to for a surgical consult, but in the meantime, while we're waiting to get that clean, we're going to first try to perform a manual deportion. It sounds like it's going to hurt. It probably will hurt, I'm not going to lie, but um, it's the first option available for surgery. 